友人の剣をくれはい。So lots to put in our daily reports today, after all. Indeed. We can figure out how best to summarize the day's events after over dinner. Alright, I should probably turn in my shit. What is this question mark thing going on? <coughs> we tried to stay over at a place called Hotel Esmeralda, but Turns out you need to reserve a room or have someone's referral if you don't have a peerage. The Nobles really are something else. The city's so elegant. I'm sure, we might have hit a snag or two, but I'm still glad we came. Uh huh, sure. Glad you came. Let's turn in this quest. You guys sat here all day. Oh, Lord Eusis might assume that you've. That's correct. Here you go. Just. Eusis handed over the pink salt. Thank you very much. Allow me to hand this over as your reward then. Silver hourglass. Refusing to accept it would be rather rude, I suppose. Thank you very much. My apologies for our rudeness earlier. It's kind of amazing how much their attitudes change for Eusis. Well, there's no denying the influence his family holds here. Addicted to bad salts completed. So sweet. Uh, yeah. Wait a minute. All right, I should probably, now that I know I can securely turn this in. Uh, let's go into the shops. To the mall, what did you sell again? Nothing good. Oh, I remember this is like the shitty mall where they don't sell shit. They don't sell shit! Nothing. Nothing! Welcome to Henderson & Co. Can I actually need some fruit as an evening stack? We can deliver it straight to your mansion. Jeez. You have fruit delivery to your mansion. Talk to all the dots. I talked to those guys. Anything changed between you ladies? Well, I quite agree. My, I myself happen to be raising some minks on our land. Wild white minks are extremely rare after all. Oh yes, I meant to ask, did you happen to see that new product at that boutique? The watercolor would certainly go well with my brooch. I must get my hands on it. My lady, may I suggest that we white mink fur would undoubtedly go well with my brooch. Don't you agree, Forrester? Of course. <laughs> Sucker, you stuck. One of the Primitive Army's armored cars made its way towards the guardhouse at high speed not long ago. It's rather ungraceful of them, even if something does seem to have happened. Uh, oh. Guard, blocking the airport. Control Tower's orbital radar happened to pick up something resembling a huge bird earlier. It was heading towards the outskirts of town at a rapid speed, too, so there was a bit of a panic. That They said that it was approximately three arg in length. Maybe it was some sort of large monster. 
Okay, so I'm doing this because I might find a I might stumble upon a secret quest. You should never know. It seems to be the thing in this game. Mommy and Dad will be home soon. Wonder what's for dinner. Oh, it's gotten pretty late. I need to go home and get dinner ready. Mom and Dad will be tired after work, so I want them to come home to a meal. We'll be taking our leave then. Wait, is that all you say? Yep. They were friends with me earlier. Oh, I didn't talk to her. Wait, damn it. Oh, well, well. She ain't there no more. Alright. Once again, I'm forgetting I can uh, teleport. How it can be dangerous after sundown, so try to, just try to stay away. I've heard rumors of the Premature Army strengthening its forces lately. Perhaps the high will become safer. So that's where I'm gonna turn in Quisto. You guys are still playing outside. Oh, she got up though. Come along now, Vino. It's time for us to go home. Hey, at least she's saying something different. Brr, kashow. I'm acting like an airship, can't you tell? Uh, no, kid. I cannot. I'm waiting for my father to return from his business meeting. Conan the Barbarian. I did consider sightseeing on my own, but I decided against it. I guess I'm a bit of a coward. Uh... The city really is pretty, but it's taking its toll on my heart. There are so many nobles, and I keep getting assaulted by nerves whenever we pass by one. Oh my, the sunset makes the city even more beautiful. I can't miss the opportunity to take a picture. You? Oh, I already talked to this guy. Yeah, I talked to that guy already. Let's check the noble district out. I don't think I actually got one here. A lot of people in the noble district to chit chat with. Alright, I should be making my way back home now. I wouldn't want the delicious meal that my butler is no doubt in the middle of preparing to go to waste. Oh, your butler, huh? I'm just gonna barge into this house. Stuff over here. Hello, strangers. Would you like to have for dinner, then, sir? Hmm, I'm not entirely sure. I don't seem to have much of an appetite, truth be told. Perhaps you should take part in a light meal instead, then. How does roasted duck with some truffles for dessert sound? Quite fine, let's go for that. Doesn't sound light to me. Perhaps for a greedy noble it is. Perhaps my appetite was affected by that stone. Ah, Royce, don't forget the wine. A good meal is always accompanied by some 62-year-old L.Y. Very good, sir. Very good. Very good, sir. Stop being an avid art collector. Master Gorty also considers himself a gourmet. Oh, this is the guy! This is the guy that took the stone. Hassle. Yeah, he's a freaking hassle. I'm gonna go rob this fool. His mansion's not all that great. It's like one giant room. It's more like a studio mansion. Good day, everyone. There's nothing out of the ordinary report here at the guardhouse. Speaking to get Dark Lord Eustace, perhaps you might consider returning to your hotel soon? Hello, kiddos. You'll never guess what happened. Cato lost our ball, so we started looking for it, but then Persimmon found it for us. But he went into the house because Mommy and Daddy were busy, and some stranger came along. Now Big Sis is going out. No fair. Let me show you what we do back home. Actually, I can't. It's too funny. We made arrangements to go to see Duke Alborea, but these two just won't behave. I didn't expect this to be the case, though. Oh well, they'll just have to stay home this year, too. Such a shame, too. I was looking forward to finally introducing them to him. Apologies for all the rushing about, we plan on making our way over to the Duke's residence. After all, I must report to him, even if briefly, on the status of the land he's left in my charge. Arrangements with the Duke have now been made. He said to make our way over during the evening. Yes, client. Oh goodness, I almost forgot our gift for the Duke. We procured some good septium from our mines, so we decided to bring some along. While it doesn't compare to the septium from more established mines, we can't simply show up empty-handed. Man. Nobles. Am I right? Or am I right? Nothing. You have nothing! So I've checked all of the noble places out. 
And it's boring. Artisan Street. Let's go in here. Says so losing his patience. He's ready to get started on some real work, but doesn't pay to be hasty. Till he can truly feel the soul of the materials he works with, I couldn't possibly leave the shop in his hands. My dad's a real stickler when it comes to his work. It's been 10 years since I started training, and he still refuses to teach me anything but the basic. I use only loot when he's actually gonna let me have the reins. What do you have again? Oh, yeah, those crappy pendulums. Pendulums. I talk you guys haven't moved if I'm playing a good deals during my shopping spree good old Davos my boy Let's see oh Raugato Ariel wand becomes Synchotron so I can do two upgrades I'll probably give Sinclair a boost become Saber and double skinner. Yeah, I'm not getting rid of my mirror. It's my mirror. Still clean and I'm welcome. Here for the meal or for the lodging? If it's for the latter, then please check in quick. This is the guy that's like, oh, espresso, but I don't actually sell it. Heard Count Gordy visited Turner's store. He's pretty infamous for making really outrageous demands from time to time. That probably sums up most nobles, to be fair. Duke Alberea included. Many traveling merchants like me nowadays, thanks to the tax increases, the fact that people can just use the transcontinental railroad to import foreign goods doesn't help either. Oh well, there's no sense complaining. But that's not going to change anything. <coughs> okay. Valenti tailoring. Did I just hear that correctly? My, that sort of price befits a dress worn by Princess Alfin herself. Thankfully, my daughter realizes we're not the richest family and will give up on getting it made. Goodness, I had no idea it would be so expensive. My apologies, but the material you have there requires some very special work. We also had to raise our prices recently due to tax increases. As such, we really can't take up the job without an upfront payment of 80,000 Mira. How troublesome. issue with this customer's order you see and truly i'm sorry but the price of customers has risen recently please don't mind us feel free to per peruse our wares and oh i didn't get him anything nice uh, give him a silver jacket and some noble leather Seems to be that's just a guard. I think that's it. Central Plaza. All right, to the hood. Let's save it. Save it. You never know. You're like, oh, I missed something. No. All right. End of the day's field study. Return to the hotel. Return to the hotel. Uh oh. That's. Father? Huh? What? He looks like a jerk. I'm terribly sorry for not coming to greet you, Father. Although I'm here, but for a short time, I used to have returned enough. Oh, he's, he looks like a dick. As I inform Rufus, you may do as you wish while you're here. 
However, you will do nothing that brings shame upon myself nor upon the Alborea name. Please be ever mindful of your position and what you represent. Yes, Father. Would it be too much to ask for you to introduce yourself to my classmate? I have no time for pleasantries. Should I require anything of you, you will be contacted. What a dick! What was that all about? Fifi, that's not really... That was the almighty Duke Alvarea, was it? The head of one of the four great houses and the man in charge of this entire province? Indeed. And by some strange twist of fate, my father as well. Eusis? I've spoken out of turn. Forget I said that. Today's workload has made me hungry. Shall we return to our rooms, then find something to eat? That sounds good to me. I'm starving. At this point, Rain and the others returned to their rooms for a much-needed shower. Then, after a short rest, they headed to a restaurant in the central plaza for dinner. And Eusis paid for everybody. Dear right. Hey, it's where those artists were sitting. Ah, the breeze here feels wonderful. <laughs> the food was delicious, too. Agreed. I can see why this restaurant is popular with the nobles. Do you dine here often, Eusis? He said he did. I do. The chef has been good to me since I was a child. I was practically raised on this food. How typical. Even in your dining habits, you nobles subsist on unnecessary luxury, though I can't deny the quality of the food. It wasn't just tasty, but warm, too. Yes. For a high-class restaurant, the chef seems to have used a lot of very healthy ingredients. Perhaps he's doing his part to ensure Yusis stays in good health. I wouldn't doubt it. I, I wonder what Group B is doing right now. <laughs> we had this exact same conversation in our group last month, too. I'm sure they're hard at work over in St. Ark. Probably nothing to worry about. It was Keldic <coughs> for you last month, right? So you were thinking of us on the first night? <coughs> yeah. After dinner, we were wondering how Group B was getting on. Dare I ask? Uh, well... Nowhere near as peacefully as now. This is a big improvement. I... kind of figured that much. We are doing much better this time. That much is true. Huh? And I'm sure our reports will reflect that. It is an improvement, though I'm not convinced it's good enough. It, it's not? I'm certain Group B gave their absolute best in all of their tasks today. But can we honestly say the same? That we could have done no better? And I'm referring not just to the monster encounter, but to the handling of our other tasks as well. Hmm. <coughs> we'll just have to try and make up for it in the day we have left. Besides, we have the chance to catch sight of a far bigger problem. Yes, that's true. First we find out taxes are rising throughout the province. Then we find out the military is being expanded on a grand scale. Don't even try to tell me the two aren't related. I have no intention of denying it, but you're only looking at one side of the coin. Exactly how many Oxen tanks do you think the Imperial Army has under their control? Well... A hundred or two, I'd guess. Precisely. The Imperial Army's military capabilities are enormous. This nation has one of the most powerful armed forces on the continent, and roughly 70% of it is under the Chancellor's control. Tell me, how is the Noble Alliance supposed to counter that? So you're suggesting that's why the Provincial Army needs to bolster its forces? Considering both sides are comprised of Erebonians, it all seems so wasteful. Oh, the travails of oh, you! Oh, who's this? How noble and beautiful they are! Oh, it's this dude! Weirdo. It's you. Baron Blue Blanc, I believe. Ha <laughs> ha! It's such an honor that you would remember a mere Baron. I see you completed a hard day's work already. How splendid! Yes, nearly. He's super exaggeratory. He's being way too extra. What about you? Alas, I have yet to be blessed with the fateful encounter I seek. 
The search for beauty is filled with perils and obstacles, yet that is precisely what makes it all so beautiful. Oh, jeez. Well, I hope you enjoy the rest of your <coughs> stay. <laughs> I most certainly will. Though it truly is a pity that the clear air of this verdant city should be tinged, if but faintly, with the scent of steel. <coughs> I'd heard that Duke Albarea was a man of many interests, but I was unaware he counted playing with fire among them. I don't condemn him for it, though, for only by playing with fire can one create fireworks. Would you not agree, my friends? I don't like your implications. And I think this whole line of conversation is a little inappropriate. Oh, please do pardon me, young lady. I meant no harm, I assure you. I wish you well on your remaining day here. May you reveal to me the beauty I seek by its end, be it the lovely luster of success or the sad splendor of failure. Who is this guy? We're gonna fight him. <sighs> Who does he think he is? This is why I can't stand nobles. <laughs> I thought you might say that. If it makes you feel better, though, I have my doubts as to whether that man truly is a noble to begin with. What? His behavior seems so exaggerated. Yeah, he's being extra. Almost as if he's trying to act like the quintessential noble. Like he's fulfilling the stereotype. Yeah, something about him feels off to me, too. But what's even stranger... Is that he knew we only have one day left here. See? You're right. We told him of our field study, but never once did we divulge how long we intended to remain here. Between him and that silver object, we've been crossing paths with a lot of strange people today. Well, tomorrow's the end of our stint here. We can't let ourselves get distracted. We still have a lot to do. That's right. We have to do our group proud. <laughs> exactly. We should return to the hotel and begin work on our reports then. Yes, do that. So, um, weird when they sleep. They all just sleep like that, just on their backs, put everything underneath in a perfect bed. When I'm in bed, I'm just like, I'm all over the place. <sighs> Can't get to sleep. I could ask you the same. You aren't going to tell hey. me that it's too hard for you. Sam, he's got the right ideas on his side. <laughs> I wouldn't dream of it. I've never slept in a bed this high class in my life. Not even back at home. And yet you're the son of Baron Schwarzer. You've not lived the life one might expect of a boy from a noble family. Yeah, that's just how my dad is. A lord should live like his people, not above them. That's how he always put it. I see. It sounds as though you have a good family. Yeah, I'm very thankful for my upbringing. Aren't you going to ask? I assumed you'd be curious about that brief exchange with my father earlier. <coughs> I wasn't really sure you'd want me to bring that up. You obviously get along really well with your brother, but I didn't get that same sense with the Duke. Has he always been like that? As far back as I can remember. I suppose he just has little respect for a son born to a commoner. What? My brother and I have different mothers. Oh shit. He was born of my father's legal wife, a noble who still lives to this day. My own mother, however, was a commoner, and she passed away eight years ago. <gasps> Please, I hope Sam is listening to this. In other words, I am his bastard son. Oh I had no idea. my god. 
So, was that chef we met earlier? He's my uncle. On my mother's side. <coughs> perhaps that's why he's always been so good to me. Or perhaps he's simply compelled to treat me as I deserve to be treated, being the son of the Duke. No, that can't be. I don't blame you for being a little cynical, but there's no need to be quite so hard on yourself. I suppose you're right. Eustace, you cool, man. I got you, dude. I'm... I'm sure you have your differences. But you do get along with your brother, right? You could say that. <laughs> He's treated me well ever since I was taken in eight years ago. He was the one who taught me my swordsmanship. And who trained me in the ways of court etiquette. <laughs> I knew it. Pardon? There's just something honest, I guess you could say, about the way you fight. It shows that whoever taught you was someone you really trusted. When we first met him this afternoon, I had a hunch he might have been the one. What's wrong? <laughs> Nothing at all. You just keep reminding me how unlike a noble you truly are. <laughs> I get that a lot. Of course, Sam didn't hear any Is of this. injury from this afternoon on the mend? It's fine, honestly. There's no pain, and the wounds closed up like it was never there. I'll have to be sure to thank Emma's grandmother for her help someday. That's good to hear. Still, from where I stand, you are something of a danger to yourself. I am? On the day of the entrance ceremony, when the trapdoor opened beneath us, you acted instantly to protect Elisa. There wasn't even a moment's hesitation. Ah. In most cases, one would reflexively act to protect himself. It's part of man's natural survival instinct. Yet you put another before yourself, not even pausing to question the validity of that decision. And you did exactly the same thing with us today. I'm sure most people would see that as an act of selflessness <coughs> and sing your praises for it. But to me, it comes across as abnormal, perhaps even twisted. <laughs> I uh, that was magic. don't know how to respond to that. <laughs> laid down the blank, it was like... Phew. I wasn't expecting you to see through me quite so clearly. Well, I owe you as much for having seen through me first. Still, the point stands. You need to be more cognizant of the effects your actions have on those around you. If not for your health and for your... reputation, that selflessness of yours can just as easily be perceived as arrogance, after all. I know it can. And you're not the first person to tell me that. What's the point in saving others if you can't spare even a moment to save yourself? That's what my old master always used to say to me. Was it now? <laughs> I suppose we both have some things we need to work through. Yeah, <coughs> but for now, we need to get a good night's sleep. If we stay up too late tonight, we're going to be dead to the world tomorrow, and that wouldn't be fair to the others. <laughs> I agree, it wouldn't be fair. To the girls, at least. I'd hate to be so tired as to limit my potential. Here, here. Good night, you. No magic blankets. The nobles are so lucky. Pleasant dreams. <coughs> Cut to Sam. He's awake. Oh shit. Oh yeah. <coughs> he knows. Oh my god. I love it. That's why his face was turned to the side. They set it up. Oh. I only got three. Hopefully there wasn't a hidden... I'm, you know what? I'm glad they don't put the hidden quests on here if you failed them. Like, if you didn't catch them. Because it just makes me sad. Keep up the good work. Field study day two. Probably should do an interrupting episode here. Hopefully I'll have time to... Here is the envelope Lord Rufus entrusted to me. Please take it and study its contents well. Field study envelope. Thank you. Much appreciated. 
If you'll excuse me then, should you require anything further, please do not hesitate to let me know. Alright, let's see what my brother's given us for today. Yeah, I'm kind of anxious. Assign tasks. Oh, only two. That means there has to be a hidden quest. I have received word that a dangerous monster roams the North Croatian Highway. This is bad news for our hotel, so may I ask someone to please take care of it? Monster Venus Man Trap location, the stone bridge leading me to, towards Keldic on the North Croatian Highway. Rich Leo, GM of Hotel Esmeralda. Wasn't that the guy that just talked to me? Should have just told me that's the quest. I'd like to request someone's help in gathering a number of ingredients I need to make a particularly nostalgic dish. For more details, come find me at Sorcier, a restaurant in the Central Plaza. Hammond. Another well-balanced assortment. You know, wouldn't be surprised if Rufus had predicted what happened yesterday from the very start. You're saying he intended to give us a first-hand look at the problems between the nobles and the commoners? If that's true, I'm impressed. His reputation is well-earned. Sure does seem that way. I believe that's enough talk about my brother. We only have one day left before he must depart on our return voyage to Trista. We should sit out as... Eustace Alborea. Oh, he's talking. What is it, Machius Regnitz? I will accept no more failures. Today, we will form a combat link. Oh, shit. What? As much as I may dislike you, I'm ashamed that we were unable to do what every other member of our <laughs> class has accomplished. Today's monster extermination request seems as good a chance as any to make up for yesterday's failure. What did you say? You really are simple-minded, aren't you? I suppose you overheard our conversation last night <coughs> and feel some kind of affinity toward me now? Nonsense! I did no such thing! <laughs> I was fast asleep while you yammered on about your family and Reen and... Uh, Machias. <laughs> Sam. That's pretty conclusive. <sighs> Very well. I accept. Oh, they're friends I'll now. I'll be happy to show you what a proper combat link looks like. <laughs> we'll see about that. Fortunately, <laughs> I have more than enough generosity of spirit to endure being paired with an arrogant noble like you. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe today's <coughs> field study will go more smoothly than yesterday's after all. Uh-oh. Lord Eusus. Oh, shit. It's just a voice and an open door. Arno? What's up, Arno? What brings you here? I would have expected you <laughs> to be at my father's side. I'm terribly sorry I could not greet you upon your arrival yesterday. However, I have come today in the capacity of an escort. An escort? To where? I'm sure you must be aware that I returned to Bereahard purely as part of a field study for my academy work. But of course. However, his grace has directly requested that I escort you to the mansion. So I would be most appreciative if you'd accompany me without delay. Father? He showed no signs of desiring my company when we spoke yesterday. I am in no position to question or oppose his orders, merely to obey them. I'm sure you understand. Though while I hesitate to speculate, I do wonder if His Excellency may feel some regret regarding his demeanor yesterday. I... Uh, but... Go with him. <laughs> we can attempt to form a combat link another time. We'll be able to handle the morning's tasks just fine on our own. Don't worry about us. Huh. You've come all the way back to your hometown. It would be a shame not to visit with your family, right? Agreed. Uh, are you certain? Very well. I'll return this afternoon. And though I will worry as to how you'll fare without me, I know you'll at least give it your best, for what that's worth. <laughs> of course we will. All right. Let's meet back in the hotel lobby around noon. If something comes up, just leave a message at the front desk. Understood. Lead the way, Arno. Gladly, sir. Please excuse us. Okay. Well, let's get started. We wouldn't want to give Eusus any further reason to worry, now would we? Huh, certainly not. Still... What? What is it? If you have something to say, just say it. <laughs> oh, it's nothing. Nothing at all. She's probably thinking, <coughs> the worst is over, and it's all thanks to your eavesdropping. Good boy. <laughs> stop that! <laughs> just stop looking at me like I'm some hapless babe! Rain? 
You do know I still haven't completely forgiven you for lying, don't you? Are you still hung up on that? And Emma, I hope you're ready to score second on our midterms because I'm not about to lose to you again. But don't even think about giving those exams any less than your very best. I intend to best you when you're in top form. Yeah, you will? She's like a demigod you, Fee, with magical powers. I've been wanting powers. to say this for a long time now. Sleeping in class is an affront to our education. You need to start treating classes more seriously. Listen, take proper notes. <coughs> Raise your hand now and then. And stop covering your ears when I'm talking to you. <laughs> I can't hear you. <laughs> anyway, we've got a lot to do, so how about we get to it? <laughs> right. That's pretty funny. Yusus temporarily left the party, so he'll be back. All right, so that nice little intro to this next day will be where we take our break for this episode. Thank you guys for watching. As usual, this is the RPG Corner. I'm Kelthar of the Heroes and Legends. Please don't forget to give me a like or a subscribe or both. Comment down below if you feel like it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. <laughs>